Greetings. Today we are going to see what is Yagi Uda antenna. This was popular when terrestrial communication is used for TV transmission. So we had microwave towers in line of sight radiating the microwaves and our TV receiver antenna was this Yagi Uda antenna. Uh, this is the Yagi Uda antenna in the 90s. It was popular in 90s. Now we will see what are the what is this antenna and how does it work. This Yagi Uda antenna is also known as also known as also known as Yagi antenna. Yagi antenna. It was discovered. It was discovered. It was designed by a German and Japanese scientists. That is how the name Yagi Uda. And it is a highly directional antenna. Directional antenna. It's a directional directional antenna. It's a directional antenna. It's a high gain antenna. High gain antenna. The high gain antenna. And it is simple structure to make it. What are the basic elements of this Yagi the antenna? Uh, this is the reflector. This is the main part of the Yagi Uda antenna that is the dipole, dipole antenna, dipole or lambda by 2 antenna. And this is the reflector, reflector, this reflector is a parasitic element. And these are, these are the, uh, these, these three are the directors, they are called directors they are called directors so the basic parts of a yagi uda antenna are dipole directors and reflector now we'll just see the what is the how this director what is the length of the dipole we'll see so i'll draw it here we have a folded dipole okay we have a folded dipole this is the main this is the radiating element this length is equal to lambda by 2 now i'll write it on the side what is the length this is the dipole then what is there mainly we have a, a reflector a reflector length is more than the length of the dipole then we have directors director length is less than the length of dipoles now how the length are length varies I'll, okay now we'll see how the length of this each element varies that is length of dipole length of dipole equals lambda by 2 we will find the for a particular frequency we will find the wavelength then half of the wavelength length will be the length of the dipole then what is the length of this reflector this is a reflector what is the length of this reflector reflector length reflector length equals reflector length is equals lambda by 2 plus 5 percent of lambda by 2 that is 0 0.05 multiplied by lambda by 2 similarly for director what is the length of the director length of director equals lambda by 2 minus is the length of first director okay first director because 
will having a multiple directors in a yagi uda and now so first director length equal to lambda upon 2 minus 5% of lambda by 2 now what is the length of the second director if you are designing a yagi uda and what will be the second director length second director length equal to first director length first director length minus 5% of the lambda by 2 that is 0 0.05 multiplied by lambda by 2 now this is the relation of these dipole and parasitic elements now we will see how this antenna works how this antenna works so we will take each element at a time now what i will do i will first take only the dipole as if we have only dipole what happens that is a folded dipole we have a folded dipole how do how how the radiation pattern is going to be the radiation pattern is going to be somewhat like this on both side both side will get the same similar pattern so this is only the radiation pattern of the dipole element only only dipole element is there only dipole element is there only dipole is there only dipole is there or lambda to lambda by 2 and is there now what happens when we place a reflector on it now we will place a reflector so next i will place a reflector on it so we have a folded dipole antenna what I have done, I'm going to do, I'm going to place a, a reflector. Reflector length has to be higher than the dipole antenna. Now, what happens? The friend lobe remains same, uh, but whatever was there on the other side, it will get reduced. This lobe, the back lobe will get reduced due to inductive property of this reflector reflector so we will get a beam width like this only the front lobe is more powerful and the back lobes are reduced when you place the reflector a reflector so this is a reflector and reflector and dipole we will get this radiation pattern now finally we will see what happens if you place the directors with it directors so i'm going to place the complete antenna complete antenna combination we are going to place oh so this is our folded dipole of lambda by 2 then reflector no i am keeping directors two directors i have kept now what will be the radiation pattern now what happens uh, this this it will in this direction the beam become much more focused much more narrower and focused so gain is high what about the back back lobe back lobe is going to be small and the side lobes will be minimum so this is how an yagi uda antenna works so we are getting a highly directional beam so it is highly directional and narrow narrower so gain is high so this was very popular antenna for tv reception when when tv tv it was used for used for tv reception reception
people used to turn their antenna towards the TV transmitter tower. So this is the, this is the all you should know about the Yagi the antenna. So guys, thanks for watching. We will learn about some more antennas. So this is the first lecture of lecture in antenna series. So Yagi the antenna. I hope all of you understood. If you like the video, please hit the like button and share with your friends. Thank you.